The Asa Abloy RF shielded door and frame assembly will be installed into various substrates and wall surfaces that are prepared for an RF shielded room. Typically, the frame would be attached to a wood stud, steel stud, or masonry wall using our standard anchoring systems. Those substrates will be prepared with a copper or other conductive material to facilitate an RF shielded surface. We are trying to prevent electromagnetic interference, EMI, and radio frequency interference, RFI, signals from penetrating into and out of those rooms or structures. The wall in this condition is prepared with copper either through a conductive mesh, film, or paint. The frame would install as normal following standard SDI, Steel Door Institute, insulation protocol, and Asabwe installation procedures. The frame slips on and is anchored to the substrate. Make sure the frame is squared, plumb, and secured using the provided anchors as specified for the installation instructions. It is critical that the contact between the surface of the frame and the mounting surface maintain contact via conductive caulk that will be provided by Asa Abla. Once the frame is installed, the conductive caulk is applied to the joint between the frame and the mating surface. The frame can now be top coated by the installer or painter. In this situation, the frame is hung. The protective film and the conductive tape are still intact, and the door has been installed as supplied by the factory. This protective film is supplied from the factory to protect the copper paint that is underneath. After the door has been top coated, the installer would now remove the protective film from the seal exposing the copper surface of the conductive tape. Next step is to remove the conductive tape from the door edge, exposing the copper paint underneath. This facilitates this copper surface becoming a conductive surface maintaining connection and conductivity for the entire system. For more information, contact any of the Asa Abloy companies listed at the end of the video. And thanks for watching.